But wait, what car am I in again? So everyone, you currently join me in the garage. Now this is obviously a video about Caffeine and Machine and a recent drive we did as a bunch of Skyline owners getting together and just basically having a nice chilled out time and going to Caffeine and Machine, kind of doing like a little mini car meet. I wanted to um, add a little bit of background to this and it's linked with another video of mine which is the engine oil change that happened with my R32 and a couple of problems that ended up arising from that. Um, I'm not gonna spoil that video fully just yet, but let's just say this car wasn't available to use for that meet. So ultimately what ended up happening was I ended up taking the M5. So right now you join me basically catching up the other Skyline owners that I know and we're basically en route to the actual first meeting point. So this was a cafe that we met everyone up at and it was kind of a good little meeting point so that we could all drive together to Caffeine and Machine. So, so here we are on our way over to Caffeine and Machine. And all I can say is, is this was a view to behold. Every one of these cars looked stunning from the back. Um, I ended up overtaking the Passat just so I can get a nice clean shot of everything and hopefully they don't mind, hopefully they weren't doing the exact same thing as well. Been able to uh, get a nice shot with the cars driving around. This literally felt like I was inside of Forza Horizon, I swear. This was just awesome. The, the weather, the scenery, and the cars in front, it just felt so epic. So everyone, we're all at the GTR convoy. Thank you, missus, for uh, being camera woman again. Without his GTR. which is make up for any situations where the GTR is not available and it does not disappoint man let's, let's listen to this this is gonna be So yeah, eventually we turned up at Cafe in the Machine and it was just a really nice spot. Everyone was there just chilling out, having a good time. And I guess that's the main thing when you go to a place like this. And when you have a meet like this, you want everyone to just relax and unwind and just get to know each other. We've all got a, a hobby or a passion, which is the cars. Um, you know, general car meets, it's loads of different cars. We as Skyline owners, we've all got a specific passion of Skylines, but we all appreciate all types of cars as well. Looking around all of these cars and honestly, there is some amazing builds here. Um, some of these Skylines have got a great amount of history behind them and I'd love to do more documented videos on them. 
But for now, let's just enjoy looking at some decent cars here. I always thought these looked so cool. So everyone, just sitting here right now. Look at that view and... Sounds good. They yeah, have been a really, really nice time out so far. Me and the just sit here. Other people have gone out um, for a little walk and stuff. I just thought I wanted to take a little moment from chatting away. Really, really nice time out. Um, got to see some really interesting builds and I actually think it would be nice to get some of these people onto the channel, possibly get to actually look around their cars properly and you know do some stuff from just a proper car enthusiast point of view um, yeah caffeine and machine good success today really nice day how nice is this oh my oh my gosh i'll be 25 That looks so nice as well. Nice little lineup of RX eights. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same cars. They all turned up together. That is a very fitting number plate. That's pretty cool. So C sixty three and an M three, both coupes. These two were really loud when they turned up. So it would be fun watching them two leave. If we get the chance. If we get the chance. Fudge. And this is a. Oh. Properly stripped out. Wow, look at the back. Yeah, you think my car would be stripped out, but this is stripped out. What is kind of nice about here is, is people can just leave their cars unlocked, and there's a nice atmosphere where you're not gonna feel like someone's gonna rub your car, which is reminiscent of how it felt in Japan for me. Um, but I don't think you get this feeling a lot in the UK. It's the best way to put it. Another Mac one here. Another Mustang and this Cosworth. That looks so good in that colour as well. But I still think this is probably one of my favourite cars here. So yeah. It was a big shame that I didn't get to take my Skyline out to it. I know 100% compared to everyone else's really nice examples. This would have stood out, which is kind of a really funny point about it being that it's so ratty looking. But yeah, it's a bit of a shame that I couldn't take my Skyline to my first Skyline meet whilst owning a Skyline. I want to encourage car meets and car shows where it is like this, where, you know, even if you even as a group of friends, you join up beforehand, you go for a nice little cruise together through the roads and stuff, and then you come to a static meet, get to appreciate all the other cars. It's such a nice thing to do. It's such a nice 
atmosphere to be in. And you know, it's one of those things that I would really, really encourage to other people. Look at getting out to these shows, look at joining people like this. It's just the best way forward. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to my wife who actually noticed that it was my one year anniversary since going full time on YouTube. Everyone, I think I have the most amazing wife. I had no idea about any of this. And I'm not normally the one to post nice personal moments like this. But this is kind of important because it's to do with YouTube, which is she set up our bedroom up. She set up my video of going full time. Apparently it's been one year since that video has been uploaded and I actually cannot believe she's done this. That's so sweet. I actually, I'm speechless. That's so cute. I didn't even know anything about any of this. <laughs> Thank you so much for her for throwing a little celebration for me. It was super nice. I couldn't believe that she did that. It was it blew me away. I didn't even notice that it had been one year. So yeah, thank you, baby. Really means a lot. And also thank you for being the camera woman for so many of my recent adventures as well. But for now, everyone, I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel to see lots of car content from me on how to's and builds and all sorts. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you all in another video, maybe to do with the skyline, maybe to do with something else. But right, see you then. Peace out. Bye.